What up, what a world, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm gonna talk about some things that musicians can learn from watching anime featuring Icarus Grey. Stay tuned. All right, if this is your first time here, my name is Wordplay TJ. I'm a hip hop artist and producer from Little Rock, Arkansas. And what I do is make music for the underdog. I take all these tips and tricks that I learned along the way while sharing my music, sharing the tips that I learned, and making sure that I synthesize it for you to understand in an easy, easy way. So if this is your first time here, be sure to like this video, be sure to subscribe, and then share with somebody else so they can get something out of it. Let's get into the content. So before I get really, really deep into the content, I want to preface this video. So it's a collaboration with myself and Icarus Gray. We're co-hosts on the No Rhyme or Reason podcast, but Icarus Gray over on his channel, he also shares his music that he makes on a regular basis, but also has Gray Area Anime, which is an anime series that gives all the information about uh, anime and manga. Manga? Eh. Yeah. Eh. Tomato, tomato. Manga? Manga? It's manga. Okay, manga. <laughs> that you can learn in order to uh, just kind of better your knowledge about that. So be sure to subscribe. I'll put that link down in the description and we can get into the content now. Um, so you have some tips and things of that nature that you put together for, for musicians where they can take some ideas from anime and then apply it to their um, music career. And I'm curious about kind of what's the first tip? What's, what, what's that? First tip is perseverance. Um, it's something that you see in a lot of animes and it's something that you're going to need on your music career to make sure that you reach success. So just thinking about perseverance, right? So what are some elements, what are some things that people need to remember about perseverance? Well, the first thing they need to remember in terms of like making the anime music connection is how to persevere. Um, you don't want to think too much on it, but you need to have the methods and training such as being more like Goku. Um, and I can explain a bit of what that means just in terms of you have to have the same daily grind and training regiments and everything else. So that way you can become, you know, a super saiyan platinum artist. Right. So you're always striving to get better. You're making sure that like because Goku, like training his is his thing. If he's not training, he's not in his element and he can't even focus on like being at home if he's not training. No. And you have to basically go after your craft in that way. Um, you have to put yourself in the hyperbolic time chamber or basically put yourself in a locked room or wherever your safe space is. and <laughs> Lock just... yourself in a room. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're panic room, you know, and just get to grind it. Um, and a lot of times that can come with like a negative connotation. It basically just means zone in on what it is that you're doing. And it, it, is there anything other things about perseverance that people should kind of know and learn? Uh, related to anime, Goku, just in general, right? What are some other things? Um, so in training yourself up, think about what it is that you need to train, the different muscles you need to work, and what villain, so to speak, you're trying to overcome. Uh, the first villain you have to overcome is basically persevere past yourself. Uh, you are going to try and beat yourself down and not allow yourself to be who you're going to be. Mm -hmm. And you're not perfect. You're not going to be some perfect cell. Then I'm done. Definitely not going to be perfect cell. Okay. You're definitely not going to be perfect cell, but you want to be the best version of yourself. And to get there, you have to earnestly look at what it is that you're doing with your music. Uh, train up your writing style. Train up your knowledge. Train up your um, networking skills and knowing who and where you should work with. And a lot of animes, you can just take those kind of principles and apply them to your life. That's dope. Um, I see something about like characters you, to model yourself after. Like, what does that, what does that mean? So basically, here are a couple characters or a couple animes that I think you guys should watch if you're trying to model yourself after somebody in terms of their perseverance. And maybe we'll get a breakdown. Ah. Uh? Uh, I'm winking way too. Uh, that's a terrible wink, but all right. On the on the Icarus Grace channel. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. 
Yep. Some of the characters that I suggest you guys looking at in animes that will probably, no, they'll definitely get broken down on my channel. Watch Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super. It's a lot of anime to watch, but trust me, perseverance is all throughout the series. Model yourself after Goku. Model yourself after... Mm, mm, model yourself... <laughs> you just eat something delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to eat... <laughs> What I was trying to do there, guys, is eat all of these mess ups. Um, <laughs> watch Dragon Ball Z, watch Naruto, watch My Hero Academia. Those are some popular mainstays that'll be easy to find and that you won't have to do a whole lot of searching for because you're probably able to watch them on majority of your streaming platforms. Word. And so there's another part, right? Be the shonen protagonist of your career. I don't know what that means. So maybe you need to define that first. Here we go. So a uh, shonen protagonist is basically, or shonen is an action comic. Uh, it's like your Marvel. So shonen would be Marvel DC-esque in terms of you have a main character, you have something that he's trying to do, he's probably going to use the power of friendship. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, he's just going to figure out a lot of different ways to overcome different obstacles. The same way you need to overcome the obstacles of the music business. Is that sort of like Naruto and Jiro? Uh, or not Jiro, but Well, Naruto Jiraiya. is the shonen protagonist. Okay. Uh, but his relationship with Jiraiya is what's common in anime, which is a training arc, which you guys kind of have to go through. And what's this, uh, what's this other protagonist that you have here? That is Deku from My Hero Academia. Okay. And what's his, what's his thing? His thing is basically he never gives up. He's born in a world where he's not given all of the skills of the other characters that are around him until a certain point where powers are bestowed upon him. But he gets that through his perseverance and hard work. OK, so I think that's that's a little bit that musicians can learn. Is there more to it? Like, is there anything else that folks need to be paying attention to, basically? Now, what you guys need to pay attention to is perspective. You have to learn a lot about what this industry is and how that industry can help you. An anime that I think has all of these attributes and a lot of the characteristics that you're going to need is Blue Period, which I've done a character analysis of over on my video. There's a card there. I see. I see what you're doing to me. Making future me do some work. Work hard. How dare you? Now that that card is placed <laughs> and uh, I've been doled out an assignment, uh, what are some some elements about perspective that we can kind of take? So the anime is based off a kid getting into art school and how he learns about art in the perspective world. So many of us may go into an art museum and look at a painting and not understand what makes this special. But... It can change depending on what you learn about that painting and what you learn then about yourself. You have to learn that there are a lot of different things in the music business that you need to be paying attention to. You have to pay attention to the market. It's not just about your creation, but you do also need to create to create. Um, don't get into this minutia of continuously breaking yourself down. You have to put something out there. You have to have something on the market. But you have to also understand the market, how it works, uh, so you can get to your best self. It sounds like that's uh, a balance between being creative and being in the business, right? Which right. is usually for those without an independent label or major label to support them or manager, which is most musicians, you will have to play those roles for a bit. Um, also important to note here is remember your passion and stick to it. This is a long haul. This is a long ride. Your perspective on how the music industry can kind of make you feel and lose your passion. You're going to have those obstacles in front of you, but do not lose faith. The perspective is that you're doing this for a reason. You started this to finish. You started this because you love it. If you started it for fame and riches, well, I don't really know what to tell you there. But I will say your perspective may change if you learn a bit more about, you know, the business. Yeah. So like as a visual artist, right, one of my experiences is when you're painting or drawing and you're really, really, really close 
to the subject, mm-hmm. you it's hard for you to see your flaws and the things that you need to correct. Correct. And so our art instructors or teachers used to tell us to put your thing up on the wall, step back from it, change your perspective for for looking at this piece to make sure that you can see where you need to make small edits and then come back close step back and continue to do that on a regular basis because if you don't do it you end up getting to the end of your drawing and it looks totally different than what you thought it would be everything you explained is in blue period it they really take a crafted experience to kind of show you how art can open up your perspective. Learning more about an engineer or why Rakim is important versus a Lil Wayne is important versus a Jay-Z versus how your music can stand in this market is all about the art and its perspectives. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified for the next one over here on, well, Gray Area Anime and, uh, the wordplay tj music advice channel yeah and my outro is so that's it if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section i appreciate you watching this video be sure to hit that like button be sure to subscribe and until next time it's your homeboy wordplay tj peace